forecast today 29 degrees and 80 percent humidity. I'm out here in the middle with the two captains of today's play, Mahela Jawardena from Sri Lanka, Prosperth Sayer from Zimbabwe, and officiating is Mike Proctor, the former South African test player. The toss, gentlemen. Prosper. Heads is called. And it's a head. So Mahela Jawardena will win the toss for Sri Lanka. What are you going to do? have a ball uh, um, because uh, it's been under covers for a couple of days and we feel that there's something in it. 50 over game, you know, if you can get an early advantage, it would be very crucial. Yeah, I think it might be an important toss with the rain yesterday. What about the composition of the side? A few seamers? Yeah, we've got three, three seamers. All three guys are uh, good enough to seam the ball around. So we picked those guys uh, thinking that we could build seam a bit. Plus we got the two spinners as well because those two guys on any surface, you know, can be a handful. Um, so good five bowlers and very good six batsmen. The last time you played Zimbabwe was actually in Canada quite recently in a low scoring game. Yeah, it was. I think um, the pitch played a big part in it. I think it was a very slow, low wickets. I think the whole tournament, the scores were, uh, you know, below what we were expecting. But it was a very competitive uh, tournament and really enjoyed it. Well, best of luck in Zimbabwe and particularly for today. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks. Prosper, you've lost the toss. Would you have filled it first as well? Yeah, I would have loved to field first. I think it usually does it a bit in the morning, especially with the ball with a bit of cloud cover. Now, Zimbabwe are coming out of a period where you haven't played a lot of cricket. You've played in Canada recently. You've had a bit against Kenya, although there were games rained out. Have you had enough preparation for this? Yeah, we haven't been playing top teams consistently as we would have liked, but uh, we've been working hard here at home. So uh, I believe the guys are well prepared and are for it. Good. Well, best of luck for the series. Thanks, Andy. That's the news from the middle. Sri Lanka have won the toss and decided to field first.
Lovely shot, opens the shoulders. Bit of width from Kulisekera. And Hamilton Masakadza, although not right out the middle of the bat, takes full toll and a much welcome boundary for Zimbabwe. It's an excellent shot and again showing how good this pitch is. The ball coming on nicely, just a little bit of width and uh, not really the full force of the blade, but there was enough on it because um, despite the wet conditions, there's uh, plenty of value on this outfield for the batsman. It's nicely manicured. Big shot again, this time down the ground. Masakaz has decided enough's enough. He's going to play some shots. Well, that's the end of the over. 22 for none. Oh, Great Danny. shot. That's gone for four. Short ball and width from Maruf to Vusi Sabanda. A little bit airborne, but he's found the gap. And uh, another boundary, much needed boundary for Zimbabwe. Edge and gone. Caught second slip. And as we mentioned, Sri Lanka in desperate need of a wicket. Kulasekara has done the job for his captain. You always had the impression that this was going to happen. That's the right length to be bowling on this wicket. Vusi Sabanda should have gone forward. Gone back. And Kapu Degera takes a very simple catch at second slip. So Zimbabwe lose their first wicket. Vusi Sabanda has gone. Caught Kapu Degera. Bold Kukula Sekera for nine. Zimbabwe 28 for one. Oh, big shot. He's found the edge and it's going to go for four. So a little bit of width again. And Hamilton Masakadza playing nice and positively and uh, manages to get it past the second slip. A little bit of a risky shot here. Every time I think the ball is pitched up, you see there's just a little bit of movement and Hamilton Masakadza has thrown the kitchen sink at it and got it off the outside edge. The deep third man for four. Yep, still four in the scorebook. Oh, he sent well, him back. It's a run out. Oh, and he's hit the stumps directed. Kivi Barber's going to have to have a look. And uh, Chamo Chibaba has called Masakadza for a run, and he sent him back. And let me just tell you, this would be a crying shame for Zimbabwe to lose Masikadza now. He's done all the hard work, and there's an outside chance he could be run out. We always say that a direct hit is a lot closer than you think. Yeah. Sri Lankans don't look too convinced. Yeah, it's just the body language there is a little bit flat. But as you say, Dirk, a direct hit is always closer than it looks, and I think this is going to be out. Yeah, he's gone. He's a couple of centimeters short, and the fielder at cover has done the work, and there's high fives around for the Sri Lankans. So a terrible mistake by the Zimbabweans, and there's the red light, and Hamilton Masakadza is going to have to go. So all the hard work done by him to get himself in and set a good platform for his team has now been undone by a silly run out hamilton masakadza i think the single was on if they had both run early and then chamu shababa's hesitated and hesitation takes more run tied we're getting on to that one it wasn't that short it'll go through for four Good shot there through mid-wicket. Looking to be very positive, Tybu, but it, it is important that he, he does try and bat the majority of the overs. Yeah, that's not the shot that should be played. That was a good length, just on and about off stump. And Chibaba trying to go too square there. There's, an, there's enough loose derivatives to improvise. You watch that again in the replay there. The length will just move a fraction off the seam there. British length, not the shot to play at this stage of the game. 
for the pickup shot. That's a good shot though, good reply. Nice and straight, head over the ball and just leant into the shot. Chibaba, that's, a, that's him at his best. We'll have another look at that. But, you know, showing the, the full maker's name to the bowler, hitting it straight back past him. It is one of Chamanoa Chibaba's strengths, that shot down the ground. But you'll more often see that play on a wicket that's more conducive to that sort of shot. Great shot there by Chibaba. Pitching a little bit short there. Square cut of that one for four. Chibaba looking good now. Well, the problems for the Sri Lankan seamers continues. In inconsistency of line and length. We saw the half volley driven down the ground. Then we saw one shorten on the leg stump. And this one's too wide and too short. Inviting the cut. It's beautifully play played, mind you. Have a look at the weight as he gets over the ball. Yeah ends up almost playing it off his front foot on weight and uh, seems to be reflecting out in the way these two guys are playing out in the middle that's a good shot and great fielding at backward point saving a definite boundary yeah you're right they've played very nicely and watchful and uh, Chibaba's moved on to 22 or 31 balls Cooper Gedro, fantastic fielding at backward point full length dive to his left and a one handed stop Yes, that really is an area which I think uh, the Sri Lankans uh, have shown great improvement. Oh, Mendes convinced and so sang a car of the wicketkeeper. Uh, umpire Barber not interested, signals leg buys. And, uh, Mendes very shocked at why umpire Barber didn't lift his finger for that one. So that was a strange sort of a length and sort of appeal, a second appeal. He might get himself into some sort of trouble with the appeals like that because uh, that was the second sort of lengthened appeal. Oh, was that? Oh, was that? Oh, was that? A stumping, great delivery that went right across. So all excitement as Mendes previous ball and LBW shout not given by umpire Kevin Barber and the very next ball beating the outside edge of Tatenda Taibu. See, see the stumping, the last delivery from Mendes uh, went right across Tatenda Taibu and uh, there was a very, very quick pick up of the bales by Kumar Sangakara, which, uh, yeah, it was referred to the third umpire and from our view it almost looked like he had bowled him. Kumar Sangakara whooped those stumps off so quickly. Uh, the Sri Lankans now wait for the decision from the third umpire. So not much enthusiasm from the Sri Lankans. And um, I would imagine that Tiber probably had his uh, back foot grounded, well grounded inside. So green light given, not out. And to tender Tiber survives. So my roof to continue from the golf course end. Bowling to Chibaba, big shot, it's in the air, it's a chance. And well taken. So after half a chance for a stumping, Chibaba has looked to loft my roof over his head and he has been caught by Pulisakara. Yes, this really is a loss of concentration. They put on four three runs and um, looked very good with the Taibo two batting very sensibly, but Chibaba, sort of uh, some sort of indiscretion they are looking to try and go over the top just um, hitting it up in there there was Kula Sekara who covered a fair amount of ground and uh, held it safe so the third Zimbabwean wicket's fallen and uh, Chibaba goes 80 83 for three Stuart Masikaneri is the man replacing Chamu Chibaba for Zimbabwe a serious lack of concentration for Zimbabwe and Stuart Muskinieri coming in at number five a seriously attacking batsman runs very well between the wickets 75 games his strike rate doesn't quite tell you how much he likes to play his shots about something which uh, I think the Zimbabweans would be very really disappointed with because uh, he was a batsman who was out there in the middle for a while played a fair amount of deliveries and uh, 
serious loss in concentration, I think, has caused uh, his downfall. The secrets of uh, his skills. Oh, that's nicely played. Got it nicely into position and employed the, the reverse sweep. Clever batting. Yeah, great shot that by to tender Taibu. Makes a big difference, though, if the batting side has lost too many wickets, then your power play becomes null and void to a certain degree. Oh, it's gone through everything, including the wicket keeper. Looks like the straight one from Murray, and it's run away for four. So, by signal by umpire Alim Dar. Big shot. Stuart Mutsu Canary. Well, that's one way of doing it. Straight back over his head. It's a magnificent shot. It's gone all the way for the maximum. Superb shot from Stuart Mutsu Canary. Really on top here, Zimbabwe. Yeah, quality shot shot there from Shima Tsukineri. One of his strengths, hitting the ball straight back over the bowler's head. And it's gone all the way. Played, the the back, played it late, it's going to go square. They'll, they'll go through for two. They're very quick between the wickets and they'll take three. That's fantastic running from Zimbabwe. That tells a story, doesn't it? 38 of the last 30 balls. So going at better than a runner ball, you would have thought that uh, Mendes and Murilithran would have posed a few problems for the Zimbabwe batsman, but not at this stage. Matsukanyeri in particular, 21 of just 19 deliveries, going very nicely. Oh, and just as I say that, the commentator's curse on the back foot trying to play two square and Sri Lanka get a wicket. Just what they wanted, they were under the cosh a little. And Zimbabwe, just as they were applying a bit of pressure, lose a wicket at a critical stage. Yeah, there's Shima Tikineri going back to that one, trying to play a little bit too square, unfortunately. And is, is comprehensively bowled. I think it was the bottom edge there. So he's gone for 21, bowl more illiterate. And Zimbabwe now 124 for four. <laughs> so the new man for Zimbabwe, Elton Chigambura. I'm glad to see that uh, he's coming in at uh, number six. We've seen him in the past, maybe a bit too low, coming in at seven. I like him batting here. And uh, he can hit the ball a long way, but he's got some work to do to get uh, Zimbabwe to that uh, competitive sort of 220, 230. He can definitely hit a long ball, though. Oh, he's got him first ball. Oh, my word, this is not what Zimbabwe wanted. But such is the class of Mutaya Muruli Duran. He's done this so many times for Sri Lanka. And he's got another one. He's on a hat trick. Elton Chigambura perishes first ball. Umpire Alim Dart, no hesitation. They're judging that to have pitched on off stump and turning enough back to hit the middle stump. It looked pretty good from where I'm sitting. And Zimbabwe lose another to be five down now. He's coming round the wicket there. Great pull. Chikambura goes across that one. I think it looked pretty straight. He did get a good stride in there. May consider himself slightly unlucky, but I think it was going on to hit the stumps. So Chikambura out, first ball, 124 for five now, Zimbabwe. Timson Maruma, the new batsman for Zimbabwe. Yeah, I think they, they've done all the hard work. They scored 38 in 30 balls. Yeah. There's, a, there's another wicket. He's turned that one down the leg side, and it's an excellent catch around the corner. And that's the end of Timson Maruma. This is going pear shaped for Zimbabwe. The leg slip put in place, and Timson Maruma just tickles it around the corner straight into the fielder's hands. And. Yeah, it uh, was placed there for that particular reason. Mutai and Muladuran, very good at bowling to his field. And Maruma perishes. So Zimbabwe now six down. Timson Maruma, he's gone for naught. Zimbabwe 124 for six. Well, I'm pretty speechless up here. How quickly a game of cricket can change. In the space of one over, Zimbabwe from a comfortable position are in dire straits. So Elton Chigambura, well, he came to the crease. And uh, we thought it was LPW, but it's a thick inside edge. And uh, 
we called it as LBW. In actual fact, it was caught behind, caught Sangakara, big inside edge. That was uh, Elton Chikambura. And uh, Mura Lutheran round the wicket again. Caught leg gully, superb captaincy, superb bowling. And uh, as I've alluded to, Zimbabwe, we in big trouble now. There's another appeal, out of here. This is disastrous. The new man was the captain, Prosper Utsaya, and he's now perished. And uh, it looks to me like it was LBW. Just hit him on off stump. Big appeal and umpire Kevin Barber. No hesitation in sending Prosper Utsaya back. There you have it. It's come out the back of his hand. It's gone through pretty straight. It's hit him in line with middle and off. I think that's a fairly straightforward decision. And there's Prosper Utsaya out for naught and Zimbabwe 125 for six new man Raymond Price he would have been sitting uh, five minutes ago probably with a bottle of water in hand and uh, notepads on and applauding uh, the great batting from Matsukaneri and Taibu and, uh, here he finds himself at the crease with a lot of work to do oh he certainly would have I think the sad thing from a Zimbabwean point of view, you've got Taibu on 34, who's batted particularly well, and really they've lost four wickets in the space of two overs. Oh! To perhaps just slightly unorthodox technique. W. Yeah, big appeal there. There you have it. I think he gets just slightly outside off, and I think that's a good decision by Kevin Barber. Yeah, well, marginally outside off stump, pretty close decision. Ah! No, no. Sangakara attempted stumping. Nevertheless, Zimbabwe 125 for seven. Right, so uh, they've gone upstairs. A very quick piece of glove work from uh, Kumar Sangakara. Raymond Price will have to wait and see whether he dragged the back leg a little. They seem pretty confident, the Sri Lankans and uh, square leg umpire Alam Dar equally wanting to have a look see. Oh, I tell you what, that's out. That looks out to me. Foot in the air. Superb piece of glove work from Kumar Sangakara. And I think he's got his man. He's judged it, he's timed it to perfection. The bales are off, the foot's in the air, and I think you'll find the red light on for Raymond Price and further disaster for Zimbabwe. God got him, thought so. The red light comes on. Raymond Price has to make his way back to the pavilion. And I can't really know what to say here. This is unbelievable stuff. Zimbabwe cruising, and now very nearly all out. It certainly is, Alistair. You know, Raymond Price out for naught or three deliveries. Stump Sankakara, Bob Mendes. Your batsman to wonder, Riwa. Oh, I don't know, there's an uh, air of uh, disbelief around the ground here as well. Yeah, I mean, he's got everyone around the bat now, and if he just defends, he's going to get it out to, to bat pad. So it's going to be very difficult at this point. There's another one there. He's going to sweep that one. He's got a, a top edge, it's gone to Silly Point, and that's that's the number nine going down to Wanda Mupariwa for naught of three deliveries. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say. This is unbelievable stuff from Murray Lutheran. Well, uh, he's uh, turned it firmly in favor of uh, Sri Lanka. And then the big bottom edge, straight up to the pad, up in the air. Everyone happy, including up by Alim Dar. And Zimbabwe lose their ninth wicket. And I, in desperate straits. But we were gone for naught, 126 for nine. Don't right, so the last man comes to the wicket, Christopher Mpofu. When I started this commentary with you, Kevin, 124 for three, 126 for nine. Lost six wickets for two runs. Unbelievable. And um, Popo, well, more of a bowler. That's what he's going to have to do a bit later on. 
So uh, he's just got to try and hang around here and let the tender Tybu score as many as he can. That's the end of another over. Perhaps Tybu can actually have an onslaught. That's all over. And it's him. They lose their tenth wicket, which means they're all out Zimbabwe. And uh, that's what I'm talking about, Matsukineri and Taibu. 36 uh, unbeaten to tender Taibu and Matsukineri, 21 of 20. And as I said earlier, okay. for those of you that's it's just okay. joined us, have a look All at right. that. Not another run from another Zimbabwe batsman. Two legs, please. That's the most noughts I've ever seen on a batting card. And you see there the figures, the two spinners. Two Seven legs. wickets between Mendes and Murali the run. At uh, very good economy. But his economy was not important. He's been knocking sides over. That one on the leg stump. Just hurrying the left-hand batsman as he played it. Yeah, one had to feel sorry for it to tend to Taibu. There was absolutely nothing he could have done the other end. So often you'd point to the senior batsman and say, well, couldn't he have taken the strike? Yes, it happened so fast. And even uh, Taibu, who looked so good, uh, employing that reverse sweep to both Muralitharan and Mendes, uh, just didn't have uh, sort of even a moment to think of how he was going to work out the situation. There you are, the... The figures, 3 for 26 for Mendes and 4 for 14 for Murlitharan. It's going to be a quick single take and Savannah will have, uh, in my apologies, will have a shy. And although the uh, Kevin Barber has asked for the third umpire to have a look, I think we'll find that the left hand has made his ground. Yes, I think uh, it's a touch and go if one um, would have a look at this um, quite closely because um, Upul Taranga didn't really believe that uh, the throw was going to come into the non-striker's end, but I think he was marginally in. Might have to have a closer look at that. Oh, it might be out. Is that bat on the line, which belongs to the umpire? Well, it's a lot closer than I had predicted uh, in my mind in first blush. Um, I didn't think there was any opportunity at all for the run-out, but Mpofu's done well here. Yeah. Remember... Yeah, that uh, if he's on the line, he'll be given out. But remember also that that bail has to be actually dislodged when you make the decision. We're looking at it from a, an angle in front of the wicket. So very difficult to tell from that uh, vision. Yes, if he's given out, Pultaranga must take some of the blame. And there you are, he's given out. He just uh, really didn't believe that the fielder would throw at the non-striker's end and uh, didn't really speed through that single. So Upul Taranga goes, Sri Lanka have lost their first wicket, <coughs> that threw a run out, and this might uh, be some consolation for the Zimbabweans to start off with. Here's the delivery, on the back foot, so he's got to take that extra yards on the run. And Poppy's done well here, because he's, he's done the unexpected, he's turned round, thrown the wicket down, and he's made a very important breakthrough for Zimbabwe. Not for one. Kumar Sangakkara, the new batsman, he's the man who Sri Lanka has depended so much, batting in that pivotal number three position, which usually is reserved for your best player. And um, he would be um, now expected, there you are. Just look at the record. That speaks for itself. 6,777 ODI runs. And that's coming from a man who keeps wicket as well. So he's had a lot to do. And the interesting thing for me is that both spinners started poorly. Most G. Matsukaneri and Tatenda Taibu played them very well to start with. Oh, that's a misfield. It's gone through their extra cover. So uh, there will be some runs here, at least two, and probably a third for Sangakara. Yes, Zimbabwe do enjoy huge reputations as fielders. That wouldn't do much for their reputation. Yes, coming back to the point we were really uh, making earlier on, Andy, um, off uh, camera, was... Uh, that uh, the Zimbabwean batsmen really were loath to using their feet or going up to playing the spinners. And uh, see, the early batsmen did that. And as a result of it, I think forced Murlidharan in particular to drop those uh, couple of inches short. 
which enabled them to get up back on the back foot and uh, cut and get runs uh, quite easily at that early stage. Mahela Udawata. That's a shot in air of uh, some force and it went straight over third man for six. At one stage he had his uh, heart in his throat because it looked as though it was going straight down the throat of the fielder but in fact it carried down there. Reminiscences of uh, Sanat Jasuria. Could say that Sanat Jasuria is another player who likes the ball uh, wide off and uh, goes hard at it. In fact, uh, hitting sixes in that direction. Great piece of fielding at backward point by Bushi Sibanda there. Oh, Timson Maruma there. Yeah, they're going to try and defend us. They've got to throw everything at it. Give away nothing in the field. Nothing. No extras when they're bowling. And take every opportunity. And they took uh, the one opportunity that was presented to them. That was the run out of Hukul Taranga. And on this occasion, great athleticism. Pounces on it. No run. Up on his feet very quickly. Not on that occasion. You can't bowl there. Especially to a left-hander. Full, wide. And he's taken full toll. It is a slow outfield. A lot of rain falling here yesterday, but enough on that to get it over the ropes. Anything that's up or wide, he's absolutely having a full go at, and he's found the gap that time. Interesting talking to uh, Mahela Jayawadna this morning, and he reckons this bloke, Udawata, is uh, going to be taking over in the form of Sanat Jai Saria. And uh, that's what I'm talking about, Matsukineri and Taibu. 36 uh, unbeaten to tender Taibu and Matsukinieri, 21 of 20. And as I said earlier, that's for okay. those of you that's, that's just okay. joined us, have a look All at right. that. Not another run from another Zimbabwe batsman. Two legs, please. That's the most noughts I've ever seen on a batting card. And you see there the figures, the two spinners. Two Seven legs. wickets between Mendes and Murali the run. At uh, very good economy, but economy was not important. If you're knocking sides over, that tells a story doesn't it you won't see that very often they just stacked on top of one another unbelievable stuff just before lunch I wouldn't uh, I would, I would have thought maybe give a spinner a whirl there's that width you can't bowl there it's just gonna get down to third man so just the single but you, know, you can't be bowling there to left hand it allows them to free their arms free shot you can see from there clearly over the batsman's head Big shot. Salim Dar. Well, he might have been having an afternoon nap. He had to move pretty quickly to get out of the way of that. Kevin Barber sees the funny side. Now the boundary to Sri Lanka. No, I don't think that this ball was that short. Udawate has decided that he's going to pull this before he's bowled. And he's gotten away with it. Which is a way he's got to continue dominating the Zimbabweans. If he gets anything that's not hitting the deck, not coming through with any pace or bounce at it, he's going to get after it. He's uh, not so good on the economy. He is a strike wicket bowler, though. <laughs> Sri Lankan hearts in their mouths there as uh, Sangakara looked like running down to what was not a single there. It was Chris and Pofu who did the fielding at Midorf. He uh, was the one who effected the run out for those of you who missed it. So I dug into the ground. There was uh, certainly an intention to take the run. But there's the neck, and it's put down. Well, if you're going to beat Sri Lanka Zimbabwe, those sort of chances will have to be taken. Well, this looks to me like a very straightforward chance, Andy. It's come at a nice height. It's not very quick. It's hit him in the chest and he's juggled it and couldn't hold on to it. Wussi Sibanda at second slip. Hamilton Masakanza thought he could have uh, a chance at it as well. It was bobbled around so much. Chikambura rude the mischance. And then as so often happens, the next delivery short and wide is put away for four up, up. 
Yes, Chigumura just bowled this into an area. Sangakara is very strong in, and he's taken full toll. Just uh, a propensity to slash a bit has Utawata. That's a more orthodox sort of stroke. There's no attempt to bash that round the ground. Beautifully timed and relying on the timing to beat the fielder. Sangakara does make this game look easy, doesn't he, Andy? This is a beautiful cricket shot he's just played. what he will do well to stand and watch at the other end and work out how it's done he's new in his one day career look how elegant this is no real effort Maruma is off with a shoulder injury that's it hard and I think it's at the beating of everyone yeah yet another boundary Sri Lanka will move to 58 for one there there's such a difference in the way that uh, these two players hit the ball on the front foot. Have a look at the stroke here. It's a real bash, isn't it? Huge back lift, and a real bludgeon. And you don't see that at this stage of the game from his partner, Sangakara. It's effective, but sometimes you can overhit there. If you get too much power into the shot, perhaps the shoulders come around too early. End up playing squarer on than you should, get the leading edge. And you lose the timing as well. It's effective on that occasion. It won't always be. He just really does throw the kitchen sink at it, doesn't he? And uh, it's been effective for him today. It's just, uh, I think Zimbabweans haven't got enough deliveries in the sort of area that will explo expose. And there he is, he's hit it straight to cover. Upu Mahela Udawate. Zimbabwe takes their second wicket. Alton Chikumbura, bold Alton Chikumbura, caught Stewie Matsikanyere. The back breakthrough that Zimbabwe required. Sri Lanka 58 for two. Well, he should have perished in the previous over when he nicked one from a wide delivery like that. This one, he's trying to overhead again. All the force but no power and straight at the fielder. So, Sri Lanka now, 58 for two with the fall of Mahela Urawata for 38. What a record as a pair, in fact. Look at those stats. First of all, the average, which is decent. Got 10 hundreds in one day internationals. That's uh, pretty good going. 48 fifties and a good rate. And off the mark straight away around the corner and Mahala J. Wardner is at the crease because of this catch taken by Stewie Matsikanyere of Elton Chikumbura's bowling Upul Tara, Upul, sorry Mahela Udawate out for 40 runs we talked about this wicket having something in it and uh, it has had something in it all day for the seamers. Just a bit of seam movement, just uh, letting the batsman know that you're never in on this sort of pitch. He can't be standing up and hitting on the up. You ought to be a bit circumspect on that, expecting it to go away from him, just holding its line. Good delivery. He has been impressive throughout uh, Mopofu. Yes, it is. It was really a quite a feat. Well, that's a good looking shot again. The placement was right. Got deep into his crease and came down hard on it so once again good running and uh, there's no doubt that uh, oh that's a very very good looking shot by Sangakara you wouldn't get very many better than that came down hard on it and again the fact that um, he managed to sort of get through that very very narrow gap in that offside area between point and uh, the uh, the extra cover sort of yeah if you had any doubt about the ability of this man <laughs> you just needed to take a look at this just superb timing 
again, the balance. No big movements, no big head movement, no jumping around the crease. Just simple back and across. Bang. Textbook cut shot. And again, this time further in front of square. The field is pretty slow, but it should have enough on it to get to the rope and does. So back to back boundaries for Sangakara. And cutting loose a little. Prosper would say it too wide, too short. And Kumar Sangakara taking full toll. Again, it was really um, sort of the question of getting into his mind where the gap was. The gap which uh, he went through earlier on was narrowed. And uh, he's made it into a very effective uh, variation. Hey. Oh, and then he turns it. He had Jaiwan uh, guessing in that over. Boulder superb. One that spun from outside leg stump to miss off. And then the undercut of the straighter one. And that one just took the pace off it and totally deceived Jaiwan. They're trying to hit it away on the leg side. Totally missed it. And Zimbabwe have their third wicket. Well, what fine strategy this was. First, the leg break going across Jaiwadana's bat face. And then the other one quickened up. And then a slow delivery. Jaiwadana received a lot of experience, has been. Uh, uh, sort of deceived by Price, Sri Lanka 95 for three. Chamara Kapugedera to the crease. Young Kapugedera has uh, been one of Sri Lanka's new stars. Just teased. This was the wicket of Jai Warden, and the last one just teased the batsman. Kept low, but again the slow nature of the delivery held the pace back. The man at silly point for the new batsman, and the slip still in place. And there goes a big shot. He hasn't quite milled it, but he's found the gap. And saying that, it's carried the boundary for six. So, Cooper Gedera not messing around. And uh, he gets off the mark with a six, bringing up Sri Lanka's 100. 101 now for three. Well, there's no better way in relieving the pressure in uh, going big. And bringing up the 100 and so Oh, that's a lovely shot there. Even though he didn't quite get all of it, but still enough to clear the boundary. So here we go. And straight away he plays a sweep shot. He's found the gap and that's going to find the boundary. So uh, Sangakara finding it very easy to find that gap. And for me, Dean, as attacking as you want to be, you can't really have a spinner, left arm spinner bowling to a left hander and not having a backward square leg. No, no, no. You need that backward square leg out there. We already saw in Raymond Price's previous over that he, he, he attempted the sweep shot and actually missed out on it this occasion making no mistake but you need a backward square leg out there there's no questioning that during this power play so as much as in ball we are being positive there goes a big shot over mid off and that's six more so Kuba Gedder is in a hurry as well and uh, he wants to get back to the hotel and put his feet up he's had enough of this and uh, six more to Kuba Gedder and a nice shot as well Advancing down the track, getting to the pitch, and finding the boundary. He's done a good job, though, Raymond Price. He's only gone for 21 runs, and he's into his fifth over now. The all-important wicket of Mahela Jai Wardner. There's a big shot. He hasn't quite middled it. And Price picks up his second wicket. So, Cooper Gadra playing one shot too many in the air. And Vusi Sabanda does the rest of the work easy catch for Sabanda at the middle of boundary and uh, requiring six runs to win Sri Lanka losing their fourth wicket Cooper Gedra once again coming down the wicket not quite getting to the pitch playing slightly inside out looking to probably get it wide of mid off but only managing to hit it down his throat so Cooper Gedra has got to go for 16 caught Sabanda bold prize Sri Lanka 122 for four Jihan Mubarak Left-hand batsman for Sri Lanka coming in at number six. Well, just going back to the uh, dismissal of Kabul Kedera, probably looking to try and repeat the shot that he played, that the first two that went for six. Big shot by Sangakara, not finding the gap. And uh, a single to the mid-wicket boundary. And, uh, yeah, you're right. Kuba Gedera may be playing... A few too many shots. He's right, come down the wicket a little bit. Not quite advanced like he did with the last one. Not quite got to the pitch of the ball. And probably looking to hit it over how one should approach an innings. 
and adjust to the situation. Go down the ground and this is going for four. Strongly hit, powerfully hit. But up to the pitch of it again, superb balance. And uh, it's uh, four runs and that brings the end of this match. Yeah, it was a good shot. He assessed the fact that the mid-on in the form of Chris and Poffy had gone quite wide and he just bashed it straight. In fact, it uh, nearly carried the boundary anyway for six. So Sri Lanka have got home at a canter in the end. As we stated, the game fell apart for Zimbabwe in or around the 26th over when from a position of 123 for three, they fell apart and were 127 all out. Other than that little patch, the game was, uh, was decent. But of course, you cannot let it go awry in any little patch. So the winning runs have come from Kumar Sangakara's bat, who just narrowly missed getting two and not out 50 in this innings. It was a joy to watch. Elegant, paced his innings well, gave himself good practice here. It was a very professional effort by the Sri Lankans. You realize that they were determined to win well, and uh, the Sri Lankans did just that. Kumar Sangakara is playing a practice match playing against a very strong opposition or an opposition which isn't as strong sort of plays in a similar fashion it's all a question of valuing his wicket and not throwing it away and he's there at the end with Jahan Mubarak to see Sri Lanka through uh, the Zimbabweans will have to regroup one must um, they must look at the positives there are a lot of positives from their point of view the top order batting Raymond Price is bowling the uh, quicker bowlers, they bowl adequately. It's just that they need to have a sufficient amount of runs on the board to defend. So there's the Sri Lankan batting card. Taranga went in the first over, courtesy of a very handy run out from Chris Mpofu. Otherwise, every one of them got a start. Perhaps uh, a couple guilty of throwing the wicket away. But uh, in the end, 134 was at a canter. Bowling card. I thought these Zimbabwean... Uh, Bowling was largely efficient. Chris and Poffey was good at the top. Muparewa perhaps had a bit of uh, bad luck. A couple of balls didn't carry to slip off the edge. Jigambura got the wicket, uh, uh, the first wicket to fall after the run out. And Ray Price was probably the pick of the bowlers with a 2 4. So at the end of the day, Sri Lanka won this game by six wickets, cruising to 130 for four, having got past Zimbabwe's 127. A very, very good afternoon and uh, welcome to the post-match presentation after the first one international of the Jalo Cup ODI series between Zimbabwe and Sri Lanka at the Harare Sports Club. Uh, first, we introduce the presentation party. It gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, on my immediate left, Mr. Chiranta Dizosa, Senior Manager, Group Marketing and Promotions and Sports Marketing from our tour sponsor Dialogue. Welcome to the presentation party. And with him is Mr. Freddy Kapuya. Mr. Kapuya is a ZC board member and chairman of the Midlands Cricket Provincial Cricket Association. First, First up in the, the post-match presentation, presentation the losing captain from Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe Prosper Utea. Prosper, Prosper a, a good, good start otherwise, but uh, that collapse at the end cost you. Yeah, yeah obviously it's disappointing not to uh, put a competitive score on the board. I thought we had a good start. Uh, also, we, we learned a lesson that uh, whoever is in must make sure that he goes through to the team. It's, it's always difficult for the guy coming in next. Uh, thank, uh, thank you very, very much, much uh, Prosper, and, uh, and uh, tough luck for today, today but uh, better, better luck uh, for Saturday, Saturday your next ODI. ODI. That, that was uh, uh, Prosper Utea of Zimbabwe, and now the winning captain, ladies and gentlemen, from Sri Lanka, Mahela Jawadna. Mahela, congratulations. A fantastic start to the series. You must be very happy with your team's performance. Yeah, I think we wanted to win the first game, which is very important in a five-match series, and Bit of, bit of disappointment the way we started this morning. We didn't create opportunities with the new ball, but uh, I thought the two spinners bowled really well. Mahela, the, the winning, winning captain, he, he will now get uh, his, his uh, team's check, check Mahela, for winning uh, today's match. And, uh, and uh, that check will be presented by Mr. Dizosa of our tour sponsor, Dialogue. So, so Mahela Jawadna, the, the winning, winning captain, winning getting the winner's, winner's check from uh, the tour sponsor, sponsor representative, Mr. Mr. Dizosa of Dialogue. Thank, thank you very, you very much. much. And congratulations once again to Mahela. The men, the men of the match award, award that is selected by our commentary, commentary team and, and the award this afternoon went to a man who had the fantastic figures of four for 14 in his four overs from Sri Lanka, Mutia Muralitaran. Congratulations, Mutia. A great performance from you. 
And, and uh, we, we have, have over the 16, uh, 17 years that you've been playing come to, come to expect this great performance from you, from you but uh, you just, just keep chilling them out. Because uh, uh, at a good day, because uh, ball well, other, other end, uh, Mendy ball well, so it uh, make my job easier. So I think uh, if we do ball well, so we can pick up a lot of wickets. Muti Amra, Amra, Amra Little and our man of the match, and that ends the presentation, presentation party at Harare Sports Club this afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. We look, we look forward very much to being with you again at the next ODI of the Dialogue Cup Series between Zimbabwe and Sri Lanka, and that's on Saturday, the 22nd of November. We hope to see you at Harare Sports Club. See you then.